Many thanks for joining us on News on the Arm Plus TV Africa. Here are the stories making the headlines, and I am Amaka Okoye. President Mohamed Buhari on Tuesday in New York assured the world that Nigeria would live up to its expectation in the leadership of the United Nations General Assembly. Addressing world leaders at the ongoing General Assembly debate, Buhari said Nigerians are truly grateful and shall endeavor to live up to the expectations. The permanent representative of, the Nigeria, of Nigeria to the United Nations, Ambassador Tijani Mohamed Bandi, took office as president of the 74th session of the General Assembly on September the 7th. Mohamed Bande is the third Nigerian to hold the office in 30 years. For this most demanding assignment, let me also offer my sincere thanks to the outgoing president, Her Excellency Patience, in piloting the 73rd General Assembly. Prime areas calling for collective action which will benefit national and global interests, economic and social progress in many countries. Mr. President, Your Excellencies, we must admit that as the world grows richer to the people of the world, it has saved lives, prevented wars, restored peace and stability, international peace and security, B, prosperity and social justice, C, respect for human dignity, and D, protection of environment. Multilateralism, symbolized by the United Nations system, has brought immense benefit to the nation charter, called for harmonizing the actions of nations in the attainment of common ends. Abdel Fattah, as Sisi president of Arab Republic of Egypt, also addressed the general debate of the 74th session of the General Assembly of the United Nations. It gives me, namely terrorism. Egypt has persistently called for a comprehensive approach in combating terrorism based on the necessity of confronting all terrorist organizations. These negotiations have not yielded the desired results. Nevertheless, Egypt still hopes on the dam will have negative repercussions on the stability as well as on development in the region in general and in Egypt in particular.